fight back home? Kansas City, are you here? Yes. The Fight for 15 leaders have gathered from all across the country today to say that we stand on this hallowed ground in Memphis to honor the fearlessness and courage of the sanitation workers who had the guts to strike in 1968, right here, right now in Memphis. And I am honored to be able to introduce to you today one of those strikers, Baxter Lee, who has joined us and wants to say a few words. And we're gonna give Baxter a mic. Welcome to Baxter. We honor you, my brother. Good evening. Well, y'all just bring it way back in 1968. Before we went out there, we stood right here, below here. We bring it back to the middle of the memory. And uh, we went from uh, Firestone Junior right here. We bring back many of them, all of them that we mauled. Just stand up for the right for our children, our parents. Uh, anybody here from New York? Yeah. Yeah. New York in the house. Do y'all remember me? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was down there, help y'all, y'all marched down there in New York. Me and Albert Turner. We were down there, marched with y'all, help y'all with y'all's track down there in New York. Amen, amen. And I'm glad to be with y'all today. All right. I'm telling y'all, it's cold. <laughs> and, uh, amen. I'm glad to be with y'all. Anytime y'all want to get in touch with us, call the Union Hall. The Union Hall get in touch with me. I'll be glad to be with y'all. And I hope y'all get what you want. If you want to stand up, be ladies and gentlemen, so you can get what you want. So we still have to be a man, not no woman, not no boy. We still have to be a man for our family. Thank you. Don't have me die here. Yeah. Thank you, Baxter. We honor you today, and today is not just a commemoration of the sanitation worker struggle, but sisters and brothers, we come to Memphis to renew our fight for dignity and respect for every human being in our nation. Is that right? Do we come to revive the fight against poverty wage work in the richest nations on earth? Do we come to declare that poverty jobs are immoral? Do we come to say that we've had it with corporations earning record profits and CEO pay out of the roof while we live and work in poverty every day? Do you come with me and the members of the Service Employees International Union to shine a light on the 64 million people across the service and care sector who are working hard each and every day and can't even earn enough to feed their families? Do you come to protest that black and brown workers are disproportionately in poverty wage jobs? And that is no accident, sisters and brothers. It is the same situation that sanitation workers stood up against 50 years ago. They linked the fight for, against systemic racism and poverty. And today we renew our commitment we are not going to stop until we eradicate racism in this country and yeah. we eradicate poverty wage work. Yeah. Are you with us, brothers and sisters? Yeah. Dr. King came to Memphis to build and expand the Poor People's Campaign. In the sanitation worker struggle, he saw the deep connection between poverty and racism. He was always ready to stand alongside working people who were organizing their union to lift up families. Fifty years later, the members of the service employees and the leaders of the Fight for 15 are proud to join with faith leaders, veterans for peace, for um, the LGBT movement, immigrant justice, climate justice, native people's freedom, and unite under the banner of the Poor People's Campaign, a national call for a moral revival. This is, as you know, as King put it in a speech here in Memphis, what does 
does it profit a man to be able to eat at an integrated lunch counter if he doesn't even earn enough money to buy a hamburger and a cup of coffee? What does it profit us to be able to have access to hotels and motels on the highway if we don't even earn enough money to take our family on vacation? We are fighting today under the banner of the Poor People's Campaign for a better life. It is in our hands, sisters and brothers, and we are with you in this fight. We will go to forward together, not one step back. Forward together, not one step back. Forward together, not one step back. We will march with this movement. We're going to register and vote with this movement. We're going to strike with this movement. We are going to do civil disobedience, and if we have to, be arrested with this movement. We are going to ignite the ability for 64 million people to join together in unions and lift our families out of poverty and end racism once and for all. And that's why I'm so proud, brothers and sisters, to bring the message that Reverend Liz Theo Harris and Reverend Tracy Blackman, who are going to join me now, as you and I listen to an audio message from Reverend William J. Barber II, who wanted to be with us today, but the flu kept him, but his voice wanted to be heard.